So today we're gonna take a look at a music player, a music player I recently bumped through. It's called Music Colette. I've been using this app for a while and here is my review. Before we begin, if you wanna learn some really good Android tips and tricks, then hit subscribe and the bell. So at first I'm gonna start with the positives here, the things that I like about this app. So the first thing that comes to mind is its design. The design is simple and very thorough. The tabs are well structured and very straightforward. All the tab icons are politely put together at the top and in a straight row. And also, this application has no ads. That's a relief. And if you look at the homepage, you can create multiple queues of songs you want to listen to, which is a very useful and unique feature if you ask me. If you move to the other tabs, we bump into a page where you get direct access to your file manager and you can play any of your audio clips from here. This is an option I think every music player should have. And the last tab of the day is the playlist. And here you have your usual bits like your favorites, recently played or recently added, but the most played and the not played option stood out to me here. Using these two options, you can track your music habits, the songs you play the most, or the music you added and have not played at all since then. It's interesting. As for the equalizer, it has all the facilities you need, if not more. But what I like about the equalizer of this particular app is their different presets for different devices. They put a good amount of effort in giving you the appropriate and authentic music experience and quality across various devices like your speaker, headphone, or headset. I like that. Now let's come to the actual music player. It's not groundbreaking, but it has all the facilities you're gonna need at all. But the standouts are the following. Like when you click on the album art, the lyrics of the song appears. At least you can make it do this convenience by long pressing on the album art, then clicking on the third option. Here you can also choose play pause instead of the lyrics option, or just do nothing. And the metadata is just beautiful, so organized and easy to understand. And now it's time to take a peek at the settings. This is the part where this application really starts to show off. You can change the themes here, light mode, dark mode, or even AMOLED. You also get to change the accent color to give the app a refreshing look every time you get bored with its face. You can arrange the tabs according to your convenience. You can edit each of the tabs individually. You can edit the home screen widget to your sole desire. You also have the backup and restore facilities. And then there's the advanced settings. So the bottom line is that the settings allow you to customize every inch of this app. Every little tweak you can imagine is lurking somewhere in the settings. Some other good things about this app I noticed like the widget doesn't go away when you restart your device. The sleep timer has an additional feature which is this one, close app after end song. This means you can set your music player to sleep after playing a specific number of songs. This player is also completely offline, it doesn't have any feature that uses the internet, which can also be seen as a negative to some people, but not to me. It's also a lightweight application, it comes in with 6 megabytes and consumes less space on your phone. Now enough with the good stuff, now we're gonna take a look at the negatives. The things I don't like about this app. I don't have any major complaints. If I had to mention it would be that you have to manually insert lyrics to every song. You can't just download it online right from the app as it completely isolates itself from using the internet. I also don't like that I cannot have access to the music player tab when I'm in another tab. Like in other music player apps you can access the music player no matter where you are in the whole app. But in this app, you have to manually go back to the music player page if you want to stop a music you're playing or whatever you want to do. And the last flaw I want to mention is this. This app, in my opinion, fails to make a first impression. And we know that old saying. What I mean is when you install and open this app for the very first time, you will be overwhelmed. Since it's loaded with a buttload of features and it takes time to fully grasp what's going on with this app. And a lot of people will click off this application just because of this particular reason. So this application is pretty powerful and yes it's arguably the best music player out there. This application has all the typical features a user is gonna ever need along with some new effective options that really come handy sometimes. It's super customizable and you can tweak every little thing on this app. So considering the pros and cons, I'm gonna give this application a 4 out of 5. So recently a friend of mine has started a channel, he makes a lot of cool videos about logos on Pixel Lab. So check out his channel, I have given the link in the description and also in the card right here. Go ahead, give him some love, will ya?
and I have a lot of videos in this channel on Android tips and tricks, app reviews like this one. So subscribe if you want to miss a thing. I'll see you next time.